Box Prop Shop here. A couple of you asked how I mounted the Alice frame onto the motherboard that comes with the Spirits Halloween Proton Pack full scale. So here's the hardware that I used. I got to add some other washers. But basically I added five supports across the bottom, middle, and to the sides. I did not add a top one because this is sturdy enough. Now here's the hardware that I got from Lowe's. Some oversized washers to give us some support. Definitely want to add your washers. And here's the spacers. So that way it's not sitting right up against my back. The sound could come out. Uh, it's easy to get to the battery, which I'll have a cover made for this soon. Again, this is underneath the felt is this uh, MDF board. So it's pretty thick. I've dropped it a couple of times. It's withstood being dropped. It's not broken. Uh, I did add in some L brackets because the screws are very small and uh, where they screw into are starting to break if you take them in and out. Uh, more than three to four times, they're going to get weak. So I did add in the Allen hardware and some pop rivets. Other than that, it's super sturdy. I've been out with it a couple of times, run around with it. It's doing fantastic. Here's the bottom again. And uh, no other upgrades to the to the wand itself yet. But it holds, it's going to work fine until one of the uh, crafters comes out with an aluminum motherboard. At that point, I'll go ahead and upgrade it. Again, there it is. I do got to switch this out for an actual space, so I just threw a bunch of nuts on there. Just because I was out of, out of these guys. So it's not too bad. These are like a dollar, two dollars. And uh, same thing for these. I think it's uh, $3 for five. But you can do it however you like. See, these ones were actually cut off here. These ones I left long. Go ahead and turn it around. Uh, a couple of you asked if I had painted it yet. I have not. I just haven't had the time. Um, I'm a full-time prop business. So I got to build in complete orders before I can play with my stuff. Uh, I did add the 3D print clippered. 3D print crank knob, 3D print ladder, um, the C-clamp, the ribbon cable. Because I have all this stuff in stock, I just threw on what I have. Note that the Spirits, let me go ahead and grab it for you. The Spirits C or the uh, ribbon cable clamp is bigger than the screen accurate clamp. So you're going to have to cover the holes. So there it is. This is from Heavy Props. I did the injector tubes. So I had that in stock, and then I also added in this hardware. Here's where it's mounted on the bottom, and it's very sturdy. It actually hangs up here in the rafter right there and uh, supports it just fine. Because remember, these are pretty light. I did resolder these to toggle switches and drilled them out, which takes about five minutes to do. And it's perfect. So I will move these speakers. There's a couple of mods that people have already made. I will move the speaker holes up into here and uh, probably actually right here so you don't see it as much and uh, roll with it like that. Uh, Etsy, this, somebody has made uh, just a cover and the entire rounded piece that will go on the cyclotron. Um, they're about 40 bucks, which is pretty expensive because they're about $3 to make. Um, it's up to you. We'll probably have the file available within the next uh, month or two in plenty of time before Halloween. Um, there are some people who have made the ion arm aluminum as well, which is just a quick add-on piece. But a lot of people are modding and coming out with parts quick. I am going to replace the bellows with the correct one. Uh, they're pretty expensive. A correct one is about $70 to $100 coming out of the UK. So it all depends on what you want to do and how much you want to add to it. But there it is. Full scale Spirits Halloween Proton Pack.